What's up guys? In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to create a custom depth effect lock screen wallpaper on your iOS 16 iPhone. Now this is only for iOS 16. Now currently I'm running the developers beta and there's a slight chance it might be slightly different when the official version comes out. Anyway, in iOS 16, one of the biggest changes is to be able to customize and personalize lock screens. And there's this one particular lock screen that has this depth effect. And as you can see, it overlaps on top of the lock screen. Now, of course, if you go into the lock screen editing mode and then tap on customize, there's a little icon right here that you can use to enable and disable that depth effect. There you go. But also you can use your own custom photos in this lock screen and also use the depth effect with your own custom photos. Now for this to work, you obviously need to have these photos in your gallery and the photo you use needs to have an obvious background so that the iPhone's AI can be able to pick up the background and separate it from the foreground and create that depth effect. So you need a photo with an obvious background. In fact, portrait mode photos will work best, but you can have a photo like this with an obvious background. It's very easy for iOS to be able to pick up the background and the foreground of this particular photo. So let's try and use this photo. So I'll go back to the lock screen, unlock the phone, tap and hold, and then go to the plus sign at the bottom there, choose photos, and then select that specific photo. And as you can see, iOS was able to bring up that photo, crop it in, and as you can see, it overlaps beautifully on top of that clock. So now if I tap on done to see the lock screen, that's what the lock screen looks like overlapping on top of the clock. Now you can edit that as well by simply tapping and holding again. And then you can also customize the widgets, especially the clock widget. You can change the clock and have it in a different font. And then you can also change the font color if you want to. Can even change the intensity of the font color itself and if you want to disable that depth effect you can now there are two ways you can disable the depth effect number one if you add widgets to this section as you might know you can add widgets to this section of your lock screen wallpaper as soon as you add widgets the depth effect will disappear and the photo will automatically go behind the widgets so if i tap on this widget section to add a widget like uh, the activity widget and maybe even the battery widget. As you can see, the depth effect is nullified there and then. Even on the clock itself, all the widgets will come to the foreground and push the entire photo in the background. Now, if I remove the widget, it's going to remain like that. But let's say you still want the photo in the background without widgets. You can do that using this menu at the bottom here. Tap on it and then select disable depth effect and that's going to disable the whole depth effect. To put it back, simply tap on that and then enable depth effect. And then also in this depth effect, you can choose to use natural colors or you can slide and use black and white, still maintaining that depth effect. And when you're happy with your photo for your lock screen, tap on done. And that's basically how to use the depth effect lock screen wallpaper in iOS 16. Thanks for watching and good luck.